Hi friends, namaste. Today we're back with some more Malayalam classes. But today it won't be basic letters or Vanyanangal. Today it will be symbols. Let's learn them all together. Symbols are A, E, E, U, 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 E, 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 I, O, 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 O. Let's learn about the symbols. First up is A. A is a backwards C. Would you like me to do it again? Okay. When do you use A? For example, you use A in the word party, which means sang. So, as you can see, we have used two symbols in the word party. R and E. Talking about E, let's move on to the next letter. The next letter is E. We use E in my name, Miguel. Let me show you. So, you can see that this is where we used E. Okay, I'll just show you how to write E one more time. There we go. It's a bit like a candy cane, isn't it? Okay, what was it next again? Oh yes, it was E. E is very simple. It's very close to E, only it has a circle at the start. E. You just have to put a loop there. That's how you write it again. What word do we use E in? I know, Riti, which means way. Let me just show you how to write it. So as you can see, we used two symbols again. Next letter is U. U is a uh, is a curve like this. It's a bit like a crowbar, only it's looping to back to the stem. Let me show you how to write it one more time. An example for a word that we use U in is Mutta. Let me show you how to write it. Ma U Then it's a ta. Mutta means egg. Next symbol is U. It's very similar to U. We write U, but we put another circle on the inside. Let me show you it again. We use U in Muta. That's why I left this on the board. We can just change the U into U. Muta means bed bug. Okay, next symbol is ir. Ir is similar to the actual letter. Let me show you. So it's a swirl, then we go like that. It's another candy cane like symbol. Let me show you it again. We use I 
in the word Karishi. You remember Ka? Then we have Ir. Then we have Sha. Then we have E. You can see that we have two symbols again. And you can see that this is where the ir is. Next letter is A. A is pretty simple. It's just a backwards ra. Like this. That is A. Sorry, that was A. Let me show you it one more time. A. We use A in the word Jedi, which means plant. Let me show you how to write it. It has a char. To make the char, che, you need to put the A symbol at the beginning like this che d jedi next one is a a is like this let me show you it one more time We use the symbol A in the word Ketu, which means heard. So, we have a car, but still, we need to put the A at the front. Like this. Ke. Then we have Tu. Just like that. Next, we have I. I is double or A. Like this. We use the symbol I in the word Kai, which means hand. For Kai, you need to put the Ka at the end of I, like this. the I then the car there you have it Kai next one is O O is a combination of A and R let me show you so we have the A but there needs to be a gap. So that is where one of the consonants go. For example, ka. Then we have the a. This would make ko. Let me show you it one more time. Next is O. O is a combination of A and R. Let me show you how to write it. So we do the A at the start, then we put the R at the end. There will still be a gap over here. Let me show you. Um, what continent should we put in there that time? I know, Cha. This would make jaw, so like jaw, jordium, which means question. Next, 
we have Ow. Ow is so simple. You just need to do the extended M. Like this. Let me show you it one more time. Okay, we have the ow. For example, if you put O at the beginning, it will turn into ow. So you can put ow into any word like ow should um, which, which means medicine. We have two more letters, then we can move on to the picture. We just need um and ah. Uh. Um is so simple. We, you just need a tiny circle. Let me show you. Tiny circle. We use um in the word Malayalam. You can see the um right over here. And without the um, Malayalam would just be Malayala. And finally, ah. Uh. Ah uh, uh is just the same as um, only it has another circle on the top. Like this. It's a bit like a column. That's all our symbols for today. What picture should we use today? I know, I. I looks like... Some eyes. enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe we've just learned the basic symbols there are a few other symbols that we haven't learned yet we'll learn them in the next episode bye bye